Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We are ready for a new mission here with low threat level knight and the same type of enemies, I think. We are going out in with anyone, everyone. And let's deploy. All right, explore areas. If your weapon or equipment takes enough damage it will be destroyed okay so i like that that equipment takes damage as well that's really cool all right so we're here it looks like the exact same map as we had before that's fine let's move up And see what we can see. Moving. Let's actually come all the way up there. And then he'll just stand by. He'll come up here. Stand by. You are our sniper. Those will come up here. Stand by. And then we'll send you over here. Received. And we'll send you. Oh, this guy, yeah, this is the guy who gave, gave a lot of uh, movement. So here Let's he'll go. actually be able to Overwatch. Uh, so Overwatch that way. And we'll see if Overwatch actually does anything if something comes out. It did not. Okay. On my way. Let's come up here. See nothing. But I will Overwatch. This way. Uh, I said Overwatch. This way. All right. You can. Actually, we'll take you, because you can run further. Is there a crate up here? Like there was last time. Yes, there is. Let's get up there. That also gives us some sight, I guess. Oh, I think. Okay. We don't have enough action points to pick this up so I, I'm not really sure what the willpower does yet I guess it's like uh, we might panic or something like that let's stand by you come up here stand by you can just run as far as you can, more or less. Moving up. Can actually come all the way up here, so let's just do that. So we hear something over there, I guess. Whoa, that was a scooter. Hey, they're destroying our crates. Bastards. Okay, let's start with our sniper. Sure thing. What can we hit here? Carapace. Spitterhead. Heavy leg. Hmm. You don't want it. Torso, that's not gonna happen. We'll try for the characters here. Nice. 110 damage. Let's see, he can fire his pistol as well. Open fire. Okay. So we damaged the machine gun on, on him. Let's move up. On the move. And hope that we can still see him. We can see another guy as well now. There's one there. Uh, let's try firing the weapon. And we'll try for... I 
Det har vi lag. Nice. And he can't really do anything now, so... You can see him as well, so let's try firing your weapon. I want to take this guy out. Well, actually, let's... Let's just see. If we... Uh, can I... Get info on him. Carapace... Doesn't look like he's bleeding or anything. Even though he should be, I think. So let's just fire on him. Actually, let's fire on the other guy and see if... He is. Let's take a shot at his torso. And another shot at his torso. Missed on that one, unfortunately. Right, then there's you. You can't do anything. You can move up here. He is not in any kind of cover, which sucks. Just give the word. Let's go for the head. We missed. Also sucks. All right, let's pick this stuff up. And fire our weapon at the other guy. Nice. He does not have enough action points to shoot again. Can he get in some cover? Yes, he can. Oh, that was cover right there as well. That's fine. All right, let's see. Don't hurt. Don't hurt us. Don't hurt us. He's gonna take that out. Yep. Crap. He has some kind of gun as well. He's gonna shoot. Ow! Asshole. Okay. I don't think that guy bled. But let's shoot at this guy. Actually. Right, he's dead. One more dealt with. Uh, don't want to shoot as a shield. Let's shoot as a. Right. We damaged his machine gun, though. Right, you come up here. Fire your weapon. Sorry. Nice. Arm disabled. You can't do anything else. Let's fire our weapon again. Are we gonna hit this? I don't think so. No. Yeah, we did. We what? We hit the shield, but it, we damaged it. So he doesn't have a shield anymore. Go for the torso. That was a warning shot. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do warning shots, dude. Just do it, bastards. He can fire his Let's weapon at the torso. <laughs> that was a nice shot. Right, let's come over here. And overwatch that way. Taking point. Oh, overwatch does work. Nice. Hit something. So this is our How do we see the health? Okay, it's there. We took a tiny bit of damage. Is it worth using our med kit? 
I don't think so. Hey. Let's just fire our weapon. Man. Nice. Arm disabled. Let's fire our weapon again. Carapace. Okay. Um, you. Just give the word. Fire your weapon at the carapace. Did we get him? We got him. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. Let's let's actually overwatch because I think there are more of them over there. You can come up here and overwatch. Taking point. You. These guys just we just can't move very far with these guys and do something move. still. Uh, Overwatch. We're all overwatching in the same direction, but that's fine. Shake it, baby. Let's Overwatch over this way. All right, here comes one. Well, we hit a bit. We hit a bit. Alright, he needs to reload. Let's see, can we hit him from there? We can. Either for the carapace. Nice. Uh, he can't do anything else. Let's see, if we move over here, we Not a can hit him. Ah, but he's out of ammo. Darn it. That means that we can't shoot. Actually, that means that I want to run back here. Just in case. Just in case. Can he hit him from there? Inside. Can. And hit the shield anyway. Let's try for the purpose though. Missed. Right, we damaged some his shield, which means that you Just can give the word. fire at the carapace that and was miss. A warning shot. Dang it! Already Get there. cover. Then there's you. You have this Odin grenade. Uh, let's Check throw the out. grenade over here. And get into cover. Oh, he bled out. Nice. And that's the mission. Uh, we protected five of the six crates. So I guess that's okay. Finn and Kurt leveled up. Okay. Nice. Let's go back to the geoscape. Okay, so 20 and 150 and we covered some we recovered some items as well. Very good. After every battle, battle soldiers lose stamina. When the stamina level reaches 20% or less, the soldier will suffer an action point penalty in the next battle. In order to rest and also heal injuries, you need to send your soldiers back to your base and leave them there. It takes time to rest or heal. Okay. So that means that we are going back here, I guess. Alright, the base. Your base contains facilities essential for the success of the Phoenix Project. You can access your base by selecting the base info option on their respective base settlement on the globe or by left clicking on the bases tab. Right, so that unlocked that. So let's have a look at bases. Repair facility. Okay, damaged facilities don't function, but they can re be repaired. You can repair a damaged facility by left clicking on the repair facility button, as long as you have the, the, the required resources. I couldn't say that. 
Make sure Geoscape time is running for the repair pr process to proceed. Okay. So we have a research lab that we need to repair. We have a medical bay, a store, access lift, energy generator, and some living quarters, and a vehicle bay. Let's repair the research lab. Seven hours, that's not too bad. Uh, so medical bay. So how do I leave my staff at the medical bay? I guess I need to transfer. Uh, so you, actually you have a level up. So let's train you first and then figure that out afterwards. So you have dash move to target position and up to 50% of the maximum move main. Okay. And assault rifle proficiency, proficiency with assault rifles. I think we're going to grab dash and assault rifle proficiency. And then we'll grab some willpower. Mm, actually, let's do that. That's exactly how much uh, uh, skill points he had and he got some speed and some willpower I'm good with that then we have Kurt who also leveled up and he has some other stuff expert packer carry plus 25% max weight that's really nice increased perception during night time okay and dash All right we're gonna grab dash and we're gonna grab the expert packer and then we'll grab I think that and leave it there okay let's go back so how do I move our wounded soldier oh. okay don't right click when you're in there So I want to move you over. Ah, transfer. All right, so he's in there to get healed up. Do we regain stamina faster at the base? Let's try it. And just let the, actually let's transfer Kinga back to the Manticore just to see if his stamina goes up faster than the rest's or or slower. So let's run time and get the research lab repaired. Okay. The research lab has been repaired. Go to the research tab and select a project to research, then return to the gearscape and start the time running. Okay, so research, cool. Hovering over a project displays the relative research information and requirements. You can start researching projects by left clicking on the arrow button of the chosen research. You can stop any current the ongoing project from the research queue. All research progress will be kept upon stopping. Okay, so I guess we are researching the Phoenix project. There's no other research available, so we are starting the research project. All right, let's take a look at our personnel. So Kinga is at 22 stamina, and so are the rest. So that has no influence at all. Fair enough. And Finn is fully healed, so we can transfer everyone back whoa, to the ship. And my cat is biting my hand up that. Okay, so let's see train. Can we can we actually set them to train? I don't think so it's just uh, may maybe we need a um, what's called all right we'll speed up time okay research project complete 
uh, Phoenix Project. We located a brief message in the base logs. If you find this, then you are almost certainly all that remains of the Phoenix Project. You still have access to our tech. This base has the most advanced ALS or advanced AIs, I guess, we ever built. They will direct your research, your research and fabrication. However, there are still other bases out there. It is imperative that you find them. They have invaluable data on the Pandoran threat. I am sorry I cannot be of more help. There's no more time. I have to go. Dr. Randolph Symes III, Phoenix Project Commander. New research, atmospheric oh, analysis. Okay. So, restoring humanity. Now that you know your initial goal, build a satellite uplink to start exploring the world for surviving pockets of humanity and functional Phoenix bases. It's also advised to build a fabrication plant so you can manufacture more and more powerful weapons and equipment. To build a facility, left click on an empty base slot and select a facility from the list. Okay, so we need to build a satellite uplink and a fabrication plant. Let's go to the base. I wonder if it, the layout matters or if we can just build anywhere. Let's see. We'll build the satellite uplink. And we'll build the fabrication plant. Five hours, seven hours. No time at all. Let's play. All right, area scanning. Your satellite uplink has been constructed. It allows you to scan an area of the globe and reveal all sites of interest there. Activate a scan by clicking on the icon below to the left of your aircraft icon. Icon. You can only perform one area scan at a time for every satellite uplink. Okay. So where? Okay. Area scan. Okay. Is it scanning right there? That seems a bit weird. Manufacturing. Your fab fabrication plant has been constructed. You can now use your resources, materials, and tech to manufacture items. Click on the manufacturer tab manufacturing tab below all right odin helmet odin leg odin body armor golem b helmet okay so okay we have the stats over there to the right so odin helmet is 20 armor plus zero speed wait one so plus 27 armor but we lose perception Stealth and accuracy. Then we have the Banshee helmet, which is 16 armor. We gain perceptions, stealth, and accuracy. Is there anything else? Nope. Let's see. Equipment Firebird SR, the sniper rifle, Mercy, shotgun. Oh, shotgun. Shotgun doesn't do a whole lot of damage, though. Why would I want the shotgun? The handgun is better. Active range 8. Active range 20. Action points 1. Ammo capacity 8. Action points 2. Ammo capacity 40. seems like. Well, why, why is the shotgun good? I guess it pretty much guarantees a hit in close-up combat or something. EX Scarab and a Manicore. Okay. Okay. Anvil. Body armor. Speed minus two. Speed plus one, speed plus two, speed plus zero. Okay. What 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 do we want to uh, manufacture? I suppose we should manufacture some magazines. So let's manufacture some of those magazines. Some of those magazines. Uh, the Hell 2 cannon, I guess, is 
with every weapon that he has. So let's make a couple of those. Ooh, Goliath. Last 50 shred 3. Grenade launcher. I like the sound of that. Okay. Oh, wait. Harry's AR-1. Phoenix assault rifle. Okay, so that's just our standard assault rifle. I don't really need that, but we need some of these. Okay, so we have seven, six magazines of, of that. Seven magazines for that, two magazines for that, eight magazines for the Firebird, okay. I think that's fine for now. Let's start that, I forgot to do that. Okay, so we're scanning. Don't have any scan uses remaining. Okay. So I guess we're scanning. Research complete. Atmospheric analysis. Reprogramming of our satellite systems has revealed the extent of the new mist outbreak. The origin sites are in the coastal sea regions, uh, as in the previous two incursions, but the activity level seems higher, posing a serious threat to remaining life on Earth. Havens caught within the mist will be at risk of attack, so we should explore mist-covered regions thoroughly and defend any havens trapped within them. Our geoscape monitoring systems have been updated with current mist coverage. Okay, new research. Oneri Delirium Index. Bonus effects global mist monitoring system available. Okay. The mist. Pandorans will build colonies within mist covered land areas. These colonies can launch attacks on nearby havens, and havens within mist areas are the most likely to be attacked. It is important for you to explore mist covered regions to make contact with havens and help protect them if you can. Okay. So, where do we see mist? Is it here? I guess it's here. Okay. What about this? Uh, okay. Can we... I wonder what we're scanning. Are we scanning in this area, I wonder? Let's play and find out. Alright, we have found some stuff. We found a lot of stuff. Cool. All right. Oh, research. We need to. Let's do this, then this, then that. Everyone is at full health and everything. So let's jump to the geoscape and explore a site over here. At the Disciples of Anu Haven, well, the fire within Nippur. At the Disciples of Anu Haven of Nippur, a mutated worm infestation is causing serious problems. The locals had placed their hopes in Taxiart Nagal, the Disciples' greatest military hero, but Nagal is said to be fighting a series of pitched battles against the Pandorans and has been unable to help. We could eradicate the infestation ourselves, helping the Haven and creating a good first impression with this faction. Okay. We're not going to do that right now because we are out of time, guys. So next time we are going to go help these disciple guys and find out what the heck is going on. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.